is Dan Dimers from Gorse Valley Hops. I'm here with Aaron Mann from Furthermore Brewing. Aaron, have you ever had any brewery blunders, uh, a little faux pas you'd like to tell us about? No regrets. No regrets. No, uh, there are several regrets. Uh, we did uh, uh, an event in, at a Chicago uh, establishment, uh, a bar, a tavern, and we tapped a firkin for the event. And this was before I did, uh, you know, my my 15 point uh, how to tap a firkin uh, checklist, which I did because of this. You weren't following the standard operating procedure for tapping a firkin. I, I was I was seated the pantsing it and. Uh, Trying to tap a firkin at a busy bar uh, with people around and and not following procedures, I slammed the tap in before uh, putting the spile on top, and I sprayed a lot of beer onto uh, the proprietor's prize Ohio State flag. Uh, you mean the Ohio State? I meant the Ohio State. The the Ohio State flag that he had hanging in, in the tavern. And uh, that was a little tough. It was nylon, I'm sure it's washable. I think you may have to burn the Ohio State flag if you if you wash it, I don't know. I think you could burn it either way, but. Yeah, uh, so so that was unfortunate. Were, were you escorted out at that moment or did he at least finish the beer? No, 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 we, we told him that it was tradition to do so and uh, that, 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 that was in fact how it was done in the old country and we, uh, told them that they could click down here to see YouTube videos of <laughs> So hopefully that establishment in Chicago is not watching this video, but ah, it's all good. They're, they're still friends of ours. They're still friends of ours. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah.